You got your butterflies ready? Yeah. Has anyone ever told you to tone it down? <laughs> now I'm asking the kids out there, or youth, maybe. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you to tone it down? <laughs> yeah, perhaps recently. <laughs> what about for the adults? When you were a child and you tried something new, maybe as a little boy, you longed to try your mother's lipstick, to feel that shine on your lips, that bright red blooming smile. Maybe as a little girl, you wanted to rip off your shirt and run against the wind, <laughs> raging fiercely like a bull, gripping a football, leaving all the other kids behind in the dust. Who were you in your hometown? in your family? Did you earn a reputation? Did you spend your young life ducking and covering, trying to blend in with the family or with the other kids or with the wallpaper, maybe just disappear entirely? <clears throat> Were you allowed to be out and proud, taking whatever form you wished? You see, pride is for all of us now. Mm. As a celebration of flamboyance, of coats of many colors, be they rainbows or rhinestones or patches. It's an authentic expression of the self, of love across genders, across sexes, across boundaries. And it's that time of year in Atlanta when we come out as our truest selves after hiding, wrestling, testing, trying on different selves, we come out proud. And as the butterfly transforms across a season, so we too transform over our life's seasons, hopefully hopefully becoming even more ourselves as we grow and change. Now we know Dolly Parton was born into poverty in Sevier County, Tennessee. I went to, Knox I went to high school in Knoxville, Tennessee, and where Dolly looms large, and one of my uh, parents' friends went to elementary school with Dolly with, in high school and knew her to have a reputation a reputation of being loose with the boys. <clears throat> this was the reputation she had. She came from a large, impoverished Appalachian family. And in the middle of that milieu, when puberty hit, her body caught people's attention. <laughs> and so her community assigned its patriarchal projections onto her as a young girl. What a small, small world she inhabited. Yet, she had dreams of a big world, a bigger world as a country music star. And over the course of her life, rather than hide her body, she enhanced it. <laughs> she did. Her body continued to be a part of her narrative. She famously underwent plastic surgery, enhancing what God had already given her, and becoming in the process even more herself. Does this enhancement, this transformation remind you of anything else? Of anyone else? People who live their lives on the edges of gender, on the edge of society's comprehension, daring to alter their bodies and risk become something, becoming something more radical, beyond the comfort of people who ascribe to patriarchal notions of gender, either or, male, female. <clears throat> when someone in our community, in our lives, or even in our culture transforms into a beautiful, powerful, passionately authentic version of themselves, well, that offers grace to each of us. This gives us, the power of that authenticity changes all of us. It gives us the permission and the power to become who we were always meant to be. 
when people transition into themselves more fully, that is terrifying to the white supremacist capitalist patriarchy mm. that earns its money off of our insecurity. Mm. Are you with me? Mm. So be yourself, and so what if that changes over time? This is why I believe Dolly has chosen a butterfly to be the animal of her spirit, because you are always every version of yourself you have ever been. And where did you come from? It's still with you, somewhere in there. You can't escape it, but maybe Maybe you can reconcile, you can learn to love it, to embrace it the way Dolly has embraced Eastern Tennessee and all of its dark hollers of hate, its cold mountains of xenophobic fear. Yes, they're still there. It's salt of the earth pride in making a life in coal country, hard scrabble mountain towns with two stoplights and not much more than a dollar general. So if she can still <laughs> embrace that country where she came from, those kids who ridiculed her and her coat of many colors, if she can still learn to love it and take it as part of herself, well, then what else can happen? She has changed East Tennessee slowly, slowly over time. I can attest to this from personal witness. Dolly's fans span all spectrums, gay and straight, conservative and liberal, rural and urban. The universality of her appeal feels transgressive right now, in this moment of cultural divisiveness, does it not? Her story holds meaning for so many of us. For every gay person who left their small town to find themselves amongst a, warm, a more welcoming community in a bigger city, but who still wants to embrace the part of themselves that is their home, family. For every immigrant who traveled across oceans, who traveled across political borders, but still longs for the home they left behind. For everyone who had to leave their cocoon of a rural, small town life to learn of a self they hadn't yet met. Well, Dolly sings for all of us. In her song, Family, she writes, some are preachers, some are gay, some are addicts, drunks, and strays, but not a one is turned away when it's family. Mm. And as Unitarian Universalists, we know love makes a family, do we not? Yes. We celebrate love in all of its forms, do we not? Come on. Yes. We do. And we will use our gifts to bring down structures of evil that would regulate, terrorize, and murder that love. Mm. Won't we? Yes. yes. Even our gifts of song, like Dolly did. And today, later today, we will take to the streets in joyful fabulousness, mm -hmm. celebrating authentic glamour, celebrating our transgressive selves, and push our cultural boundaries all in the name of love that is revolutionary. Come on. That demands more of us. Love that is sometimes angry, that is concerned with justice, that is concerned with equality for all of us. Now is not the time to tone it down. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you are from, bring it with you into your becoming. You will need your fiercest, most fabulous self. You will need that part of yourself that makes room for others to become who they need to be, who sees them for who they really are. We have got a fight ahead of us. We are still in 2019 fighting for the right to love and live freely. But before we show up to that fight, we celebrate. We sing 
Today, let us sing. Let us sing out loud, proud, fierce, fabulous. Look around you. Look around you. Look at all these beautiful butterflies. Mm. <laughs> this is your family. Mm. Amen. 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 May it be so. Woo!